Hey YouTube again. <laughs> um, okay, so I I always say that. So I, I sound like a Canadian. <laughs> I'm not close enough to Canada, but I'm not Canadian anyway. Uh, I've not done a reaction for a while, so I figured I might as well do something. And I noticed that BAP yet again. I feel like they come out with so many songs, but they have a song called Bad Man, and it looks like it's pretty popular already came out on August 5th and it's got 20 almost 2 million 800,000 views so that's not too bad so I will now watch it and tell you what I think <laughs> okay. okay well the first thing is there's a black guy so they're involving other ethnicities which is cool like a riot. Oh, what are you wearing, my dear sir? The skulls are a little scary. The, uh, the stripes are crazy. Oh, he was scary. Some of these extras are genuinely scary. I don't understand the whole covering up the face thing. Is that common for when people aren't sick even? The hair is cool. Black and white hair. Oh, red. Whoa. The paint is very interesting on their faces. So it makes me think of like what the world used to be versus now. Shady deal going on. I just don't really understand the storyline. That's a really awesome set, wherever they are with their striped pajama jailbird outfits. So definitely trying to reach out to international audiences with people of all different ethnicities, which is always cool. I'd hate those skulls. <gasps> Teddy bear! It's like there's some sort of uprising and then people are trying to squelch it. That is creepy sounding. Whoa! Awesome pole move. Handoff of some sort. Money, drugs. Shooting the guy. Is anything going to make sense? There's an explosion. Half the people die, maybe. Or get injured. He can hit the nose very nicely. Oh, they're the only ones that survive the end of the world. Is there going to be something at the end? No. Well, maybe if yet again I spoke Korean, it would actually make sense. Um, let me minimize this. I was not a huge fan of that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think they've done better. They're still keeping with their bad boy image, which is cool. Um, they haven't r majorly deviated from that, so that's 
cool and rare, I feel like, for a lot of K-pop artists. I think they, like I always say, try different images just to see what works well, and they seem to generally be trying to stick with their bad boy, scary person image, which, oh my gosh, come on, who are you kidding? <laughs> it works well, but like they don't look, other than maybe the leader, what's his name, Bang yong Is that who it is? You know, he might, he, he seems like he could be a little scary if he wanted to be, but the rest of them are just too cute. Anyway, um, so the video to me just basically was like so many other videos, it just seemed like the end of the world, uprisings happening, explosions, guns, mobs, people trying to, like, enfor law enforcement officials sort of trying to squelch the mobs. I don't know if the words explained it better, like what was going on, but... That's all I got. <laughs> but things that I really liked in the video, like I said, first of all, were the multicultural nesses. That's not a word, but I really liked that. I greatly appreciate it when people try to be diverse in their videos. Um, that set that was like, I don't know, it looked like a cathedral, like it had cathedral ceilings almost. I don't know where they were. That was amazingly gorgeous. I don't know how they got in there, but that was amazing. Uh, I don't, I highly doubt that was in Korea, but you never know. And the spiral staircase, that was awesome. So it's like, no longer is it cool sets that they've built. They're actually on location somewhere, which is really neat. And they had, whoever designed this video did a really good job because it was just epic looking. Um, and just the aesthetics and the like evenness kind of just, uh, I don't know. It just looked really good. Hated the jailbird outfits. Don't know who designed those. Um, the black, the striped things. Don't ever wear those again. Um, the paint on the faces, I didn't understand it. Some of it I kind of liked. Like, one guy had kind of like a gradient paint on his face, so it kind of start. it was really dark here, and then it just kind of faded out, and that was kind of cool. Sorry, I'm shaking this. But, uh, other than that, I didn't really get that. Other than, like, war paint or something. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to, there goes a really big bug my window. Anyway, sorry, I'm really easily distracted. I'm trying to think of what other elements I liked or didn't like. That was it, just because I didn't really understand the storyline. And I really am getting quite sick of the end of the world being a theme. Um, a little while ago it was just kind of like dark grunginess was really a theme, and this is dark and grungy, but now it's just like, everyone knows the world is kind of going unglu coming unglued. And it's really become a popular theme to really focus on that in like movies and music videos. Just like, let's see chaos happen because chaos does happen all over the world. But I'm just kind of sick of that. <laughs> I think we can find many more other kinds of stories to tell that are still relevant to nowadays without reminding everyone what the world will probably be one day. Uh, short of God coming back, that's another whole debate. So, yeah. Not a huge fan, sorry, but I mean, I'm glad they're still doing stuff, and they're still around, of course, and I wish them the best, and I'm looking forward to see what they have in the future, but this one, for me, meh, <laughs> not so great, but okay, alright, well, I'll see you later.